the main takeaways from this ag letter that covers the first quarter of 2020 include that farmland values have remained fairly steady, even though there's been um, maybe a little increase from a year ago. At the same time, we see agricultural credit conditions deteriorate in key ways, given that the coronavirus has really had a big impact on agricultural product prices. And so that's something that's a um, pretty big thing going forward. Agricultural land values look to be a little softer, given that we have no respondents seeing them increase, and we have a you know a large number that we're seeing them decrease, almost half. So it's uh, you know a softer period, but at the same time, it doesn't look to be a big drop off at this stage, even though there has been a big decrease in many of the agricultural product prices. Most of agriculture has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, but particularly hit have been the livestock sector with the disruptions in meat production that have led to um, lower slaughtering of both cattle and hogs in particular for our district. And that's been a big challenge as there's a lot of um, concern about what's gonna happen especially if the meatpacking plants aren't able to get back up to close to their capacity in the near term. Obviously, the other parts of the country have you know, issues as well, particularly with um, chicken production. And well, the other thing for our district is milk production. You know, there have actually been farmers that have had to dump their milk in um, many places around the nation, as including Wisconsin, and that's uh, a real challenge for that sector. The China trade situation is a really big deal for farmers in the Midwest since many of the products that we produce, such as corn, soybeans, um, you know, pork and beef and mi mi dairy products, those are important um, aspects of the um, purchases that we would hope the Chinese market would increase now as we get into the rest of this year after the coronavirus has been um, pushed back there and they begin to purchase products under the phase one deal. The farm sector sees some extra government support as quite critical at this time, especially as the livestock industry and the dairy sector are both um, struggling and so there have been a lot of um, requests for additional aid and the stimulus packages so far have provided some that the USDA is rolling out in terms of purchasing dairy products and, it, uh, and uh, other kinds of ag um, produce and things that would otherwise have not been purchased given the downturn in demand. Agricultural bankers and farmers are in a very uncertain state right now as far as what the future holds. There's a lot of concern about the direction of agricultural markets at the same time that they're hopeful that we might be at the bottom. Um, there's just no way to know at this time.